Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to set up the you know the trust network. Let's say if you work in the office, you don't want to use the multiple you know authentication because you know this office is your trust location. How can we find out this? Uh, for example, if I'm working from home now, I try to I open Google.com and search for what is my IP, I find my public IP address is 203.158.56.216. So by default, you know, I have, if I go to the Azure, you know, Active Directory, and then I go to Conditional Access, I have policy set up to require MFA for Office 365 application access. This include all the users, you know, conditions. Let's see, conditions include all edit location and all applications, you know, all platform like uh, uh, Android, iOS, Windows, and also the uh, applications browser, you know, mobile device exchange and other clients are already all ticked. So I already set the policy on. So if I log into the you know like office.com with a user if i log in as windows miss i put in the user id and the password in, it asks me so for example if i If I sign out, and sign back in again, as Linda Smith, after I put, you know, I put the user principal name and the user password, password. And I get another authentication, you know, ask me to input the number in the Microsoft, uh, you know, authenticator, which I needed to put in from my mobile phone. Click yes to approve, then I can log in. So this, uh, you know, what multiple authentication, you know, factor authentication works. So if I work in the office, I don't want to use the multi-factor authentication. I just want to use the user ID and the password, for example. I can just uh, sign out. And then I sign out on this user now. So I go to the uh, admin, you know, admin.maxsoft.com. And then I go to add your active directory. Then I go to conditional access and in conditional access I want to go to name the locations. In the name the location on the top you see there's a configure multi-factor authentication trust IPs. I just click this one. In this one, I add my public IP address 203.158.56.216 slash 32 because I only have one IP address. I put a 32. So I, I already add this one. I click save. So this one is saved. After this, I need to go back, uh, go to the Conditional access again, I go to policies. I just click this policy. And then I click conditions. In the conditions, I select locations. And I want to click exclude. And then I click none. Then I want to select, you know, because I just put my public IP address to the multi-factor authentication trust IPs. I just select this one. 
I can select. So it's now showing the list. So I also include myself. So I click save. So I have changed the policy to exclude the you know the multi-factor authentication trusted IPs which I put my public IP in. So if I go back to the browser and then I try to sign in again as Linda Smith, let's see what happens. After I put in the user principal name and the password in. And I click sign in. I click no. You see, I can sign in directly. I don't need the you know multi-factor authentication. So after I, you know, add my public IP address to the you know multi-factor authentication trust IP list, then I don't need to. If I work in this office because they know my public IP address is, they just get me in. So after I input the user ID and the password, that's all I 